And the Bible tells us to walk in the Spirit and we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walk in the Spirit. Walk as God walks, as Christ walked. Live as He lives. You say, well, that was Jesus. We can't do that. Yes, we can. Because he, He's in us. He wouldn't have told us that we could if we couldn't have. And He didn't tell us to try. Now, you just try to obey the Spirit. You just try to walk in the Spirit the best you can. No. 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 He said, walk in the Spirit. Praise God. Amen. Put on. Put on these things. He didn't say, now just try to love everybody as best as you can. No. No. We've got a command to love. We've got a, we're commanded. Commanded to love. We have to. We have to. Praise God. Because in that love is the light of God. The light of God comes forth from us and emanates through the love that we have that's how we know we've passed from death unto life. Because we love. And we love our brothers and sisters, praise God. We love the body. See, the body's not individual people or in just individual denominations here and there. No, the body is one. The body of Christ is one. One, united. It's the body. Praise God. And I was reading what an old, old, old-time man of God said. And he said there should be one church in a city. One church. Well, I thought that that's good. Where, where everybody's united. And you know what? That does away with denominations. And it should be the body of Christ. No divisions because the body is one and should come together one universally praise God hallelujah so if you realize if we realize that we're one body and the body of Christ then we will view each and every person each and every child of God as a part of us as a part of us and then we won't we won't label people, well, that's a Baptist, or that's a Pentecostal, or that's Assemblies of God, you know, or that's a Catholic, that's Presbyterian, or Episcopalian. Mm-mm. No, we'll see them as the body, the body of Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, everybody's not going to agree on the word because not everybody has light the same as everybody else and it just depends how long you've been in the word and how much light that God has shown you how much revelation of the word you have and there's still babies in Christ doing baby things but I have a problem with people that's that's been Christians for 15 and 20 and 30 years and still babies. I have a problem with that. We need to grow up in Christ. Grow up in Christ Jesus and come into that full stature, that full maturity. Those who are led by the Spirit of God, <clears throat> the Bible says they are the sons of and that word sons denotes maturity, denotes grown up sons and matured sons. Those who are led by the Spirit of God are mature sons. The answer to 10,000 questions is be led, be led by the Spirit of God. Be led. Praise God. Hallelujah. We can be led of the Spirit of God because we've got the Spirit of God within us in our inner man, in our inner being. Years and years and years ago, I read in the Bible, in Thessalonians, I think it is, 1 Thessalonians 5, 23, where Paul prayed, I 
I pray that your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved. Praise God to the day of judgment. Your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved. Because the Bible says that the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, dividing asunder of spirit and soul. 